Hey everyone, in this 4 minute videos for developers, we are going to see how Apigee conditional flows works which is very important when it comes to designing of your APIs. And in this uh, example, we are going to see how to define conditional flows to the handle different API resources. Prerequisites for this video, you need an Apigee Edge account, you can sign up at apigee.com slash edge. You need basic concepts of Apigee API proxy, for that you can refer earlier 4 minute videos. As you know, Apigee Edge sits in between the client and target server where when you create an API proxy, it is divided into proxy endpoint and target endpoint. Whenever a request comes to Apigee Edge for that particular proxy endpoint, where you can execute a bunch of policies to modify the behavior of the API before you forward the request to the target server. When you create an API in Apigee Edge, whenever a request comes in, after that particular endpoint, the same request is forwarded to target no matter what, which particular API is that. For example, let's take an example of employees API. Let's say you created an employees API and whenever a call comes to slash employees, it will be forwarded to target. Similarly, whenever a call comes to create an employee, the same call will be forwarded to the employee backend service. Let's say you want to execute different policies based on whether it is in get employees details or create employees details, or for example, update an employee detail. Obviously, not every API is same and obviously you want to modify the behavior of the API based on a lot of conditions. Let's say whenever a delete call comes, then you want to execute different policies, which is completely different from get all employees or create an employee or update employee. You can able to easily do that in Apigee Edge and modify the API behavior based on the condition that you define and attach a bunch of policies in both request and response. You can do that using conditional flows in Apigee Edge. Let's create a simple API proxy to see conditional flows in action. Click on API proxies. Click on press proxy button to create a proxy. Choose reverse proxy. Click on next. I'm going to name the proxy as a conditional flows demo. Choose existing API as HTTP bin.org. Click on next. Choose pass through. Click on next. Choose defaults. Build and deploy. Once API proxy is deployed, let's access the proxy endpoint and make some few calls. Click on develop to create some conditional flows. What we're going to do is we're going to define two conditional flows. One is for get all employees and other one is for create employee and attach policies based on these conditional flows to modify the API behavior. To create the conditional flows, so click on plus step next to the proxy endpoint. And then, so I'm going to define conditional flow get all employees and give the path and verb as slash employees and then verb as get. When you add a conditional flow, all it does is adds an XML element flow with the condition. Again, you can modify the condition not only for API methods like verb and path, you can define any condition including uh, if query param matches something or header parameter matches something. And let's define one more conditional flow for create an employee. So I'm gonna define a post create employee, and then choose path and verb, choose post, and then choose uh, path as slash employees. Click on add. Most important thing to remember is whenever an API call comes, only one conditional flow will get executed, no matter what. So let's uh, define few uh, policies on these conditional flows to modify behavior. So I'm going to define quota policy and uh, get all employees to implement a quota. Click on uh, the get all employees, click on plus step, add a quota policy. So remove type calendar and uh, let's change uh, the count to two per minute. And we're going to attach uh, verify API key and implement security for create employee only. So click on post uh, create employee and then click on plus step and then choose uh, verify API key policy. Click on add. Let's save the API proxy and uh, see it in action. Click on trace to see it in action. As you can see, if you make an API call to slash employees, only two calls are per minute and third call will fail with the quota policy uh, getting into action. As you can see, when get all employees, only quota got executed. Let's make an API call to create an employee using Postman. So when I make an API call, as you can see, it is expecting uh, an API key variable because we are conditionally executing the policy by leveraging conditional flows. So that's how you can able to modify the API behavior and dif create different conditional flows for different API methods or even for custom conditions to attach a bunch of policies in request and response and modifying the API behavior without changing any code in the backend system. Subscribe to YouTube channel and share this video with your colleagues and friends.